shooting at my plane. Hurry the hell up, you're right in the seat. Okay, here we go. Now, get ready. This one, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, Nate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. Suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like Wild Goose Kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect himself. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? Just think about this. Thomas II was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the guns way all look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so where exactly in Madagascar are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? people who survived the caves, the recruits. What's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. There's a volcano near King's Bay. Which means we need to get a move on. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news, there's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're going to need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Oh, you know, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. So I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you too. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. 
All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world, so if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, 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 poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Look, another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison, a lot of books. Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Cool. You can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. I mean, especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. Another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Operated out of the Caribbean. I thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Are you two just relax? I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know? <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. <laughs> ah, ah, sword! Oh, no. Guys, hide! These clowns are really getting on my nerves. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. 
Well, you should have told him it was 200. <coughs> you never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. Guys, we're gonna find it, pay off that lunatic, and still have plenty to spare. Trust me. We're all set. Here we go. No, turn into it. Uh oh. Fun, right? Yeah, well, I'm definitely sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? <laughs> no, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. The whole thing under control. Come check this out. St. Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas, too. And that's, um... It's, it's Adam Baldridge, it's uh, Joseph Farrell, and it's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys. <laughs> Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. The trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Jesus. Is that all of them? Well, let's hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? It's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed, okay? Because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Guess we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. no, no Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. 
you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> but we've seen crazy before. That we have. This is something out of Avery's era. Where did you get this? Uh, friend, that is a very unique item. I'd give you a discount. $500. <laughs> Are you kidding? I don't even know if it's real. Give you 50 bucks for it. 400 dollars, and it's real. I don't know buyers interested in that piece. Come on, man. I, 200, okay? That's all I have on me. I cannot possibly part with it for less than 300. That is my final offer. All right, I'll take it. 300. Nay. Really? Done. You see that? That's how you haggle. <laughs> you say so. Oh, watch it. Edward England's sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. Ooh. This is a very tall clock tower. Yes. Yes, it is. Hmm. Now, what do you bet? some bells. This is definitely the place. Call Sam. On it. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Voicemail. Hey, Sam. Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. Scorpio. That Avery was a Scorpio. people.
Sorry, the handle broke. Yeah, try not to drop anything else in my head, all right? I'm gonna have to ring it myself. Ah, here we go. Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? I don't know yet. You? Deaf? Come on. Let's see what Avery has in store for us. All right. Sure, why not? Let's see what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my tower. I, I got nothing. Yeah? No. We're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Sully. Way ahead of you. Whoa. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery, Thomas too. Partners in crime. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> There are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah, they got those star patterns on them. They turn, but which way are they supposed to go? Just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and uh, Christopher Condent. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condent. Splendid. But why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Well, that mustache. It's almost as impressive as yours. Hmm. It's all right. Hmm. Hey, look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Hey, you're right. Ah, uh, that's right. Content went by Billy One Hand. Guess he had one made. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty. What do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? I bet these line up, too. Hmm.
Voilà. Add another doorway. Yeah. So, who are these guys? That's... Um... They are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you... Give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. There. You know, these are actually some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. Okay, just saying. William Mays. American? Yeah, from Rhode Island. Just like Thomas, too. Here we go. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Warren, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet. But I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. Books, globe. This Want guy looks like a scholar. Hey, Richard Want. He was the captain of the Dolphin. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. Nah. Uh huh. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. Is it straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. God, look at Farrell's face. Looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. There. <laughs> 